Hey, how's everybody doing today? JP from JP's Tech. Okay, I was inspired by a uh, comment left in my last video where somebody s said that I was a sweetheart of a dork. <laughs> so I figured I'd really dork out today and show you what I'm kind of working on. Now, if you're into Space Sims, DCS, Falcon or whatever, and you have a main instrument panel like the wind wing or some even bigger ones which are custom and you want to mount it after looking at some measurements for the one that i have coming in if you mount it on your desk the displays aren't going to line up correctly it will work but they're not going to line up the way it looks in say the, the f18 mainly you have three MFDs, a HUD, and a display panel above that. So I started looking online and I priced out a few, a few brackets, a few mounts, and it was quite costly. You know, you're talking a couple hundred dollars without shipping. So I figured, well, I like I've, I've always liked doing my own projects, so. I priced out what it would cost to pick up some T-bar or aluminum extrusion, 4080. You can go with the light version and not the light as in weight, not the heavy duty one, which I did with this one. I didn't want to get this. They sent it to me, actually, and it's like double the weight of the... It's even heavier than this big one but you can see the difference in how much aluminum is being used anyways you're not going to save any money by building one of these because you're going to need around 800 millimeters of 4080 and 500 millimeters of 4040 you're also going to need some joining brackets something to hold it to the table. I had something hanging around. I chopped off, smoothed it out, and bingo. So this is your top plate. You're gonna need some end caps. You're gonna need T-bolts, which look more like this, actually. And what you get is these slide in to these doohickeys like that. This I have different sizes for these things. You're gonna need a few different type of more or less eight millimeter screws or bolts some some washes maybe some spaces if you need them and some L brackets well anyways by the time you end up getting all this stuff you already spent at least a couple hundred bucks easily so I asked around and I got I got four people I might have a fifth one and I think that's gonna be it because it's kind of a lot of work and I don't have time to do this every day because I have other things that are still waiting to get done but seeing you spending a couple hundred dollars for your initial one after that once you get all these bags of stuff the price for building one of these mounting systems for the wind wing di display panel is going to drop to around sixty dollars because <laughs> i mean let's face it once you own some bags of nuts bolts spaces it, it, it all comes in like 25 and 50 maybe more it depends on you know do you have the tools do you have a garage so i'm going to keep this video short I'm going to put this together. I'm not trying to get a certain company out there that does a great job making something almost exactly similar to what where I got my idea from because I'm sorry, I seen it there and they had their specs. Oh, you're also going to need a push pull. Push pull. Mount so you can put it to your desk. I'm not trying to piss off any companies out there. It's always nice to save a few bucks. And on top of that, I just like doing my own projects. 
I, I, I enjoy doing it. I'm going to build four or five of these. And maybe in the future I'll build some more. I've got a few friends that want them. A couple people I knew online that were interested in it. So I'm going to throw it together. And when it's finished off, I will show you the final product. You can see basically where I'm going with this. Get your end caps on there and whatnot. And so you can see basically where this is going. And once it's done, if you've seen online what it's supposed to look like, it's, it's going to be probably almost identical. I went with the silver because for some reason the silver aluminum is like $20 uh, cheaper. So I'm starting to think I just should have got the black. But then again, I can just paint it. It's easy enough to paint, put a little clear coat on it after, flat clear coat and clear, flat clear coat. And, uh, you know, you throw it on your desk, mount your stuff up, and it's gonna get all scratched up anyways. So I'll be back when this is finished, show you the final product. So we'll see you then. I'll be back when this is all done. Okay, I am back. Well, this is it pretty much finished up. I'm pretty happy with it. I added a little attachment on the side. I'm going to cut a piece of 4040. That's 4080. I just wanted to see how it would work out. I have some black 4040. I'm going to run a little piece off the side, keep that stream deck there. Put something. On it. There's so many places you can attach stuff to with this. And I'm pretty happy the way it came out for looking at a picture on a website. And yeah, I kind of somewhat copied it, but don't tell nobody. Anyways, this one's done. Four more to go. <laughs> Four more to go. And it'll be all over. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Can't wait for my MIP to come in, which I was contacted today by FedEx, and they were like, yo, you gotta fill out this paper from Homeland Security now. This thing's over here in uh, Alaska. And uh, you know, I gotta send them some information, which I did, and it's done. And But I was really surprised. I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, if anybody's going to be ordering from Win Wing or any place in China, you may be getting the same thing. I wouldn't doubt if it's something to do with all the trouble going on. But got the end caps on. Tops. As you can see, the brackets that come with the one from the other company I've seen, they're a little more stylish. And But hey. Instead of countersunk screws, I just put the ones on top. I still might move and put some washers, black washers on there. I was going to paint it, but it's going to be behind a lot of stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I'll be seeing you on the next video. Peace.